As North Koreans celebrate what Pyongyang says was a successful nuclear test in legitimate self-defense, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says the test is a direct challenge to the international community. I have repeatedly called on the leadership of Pyongyang to give up its pursuit of nuclear programs and to instead focus on building a better future uh, for the country's people by addressing dire humanitarian and human rights situations. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says North Korea threatens world peace. This week's test was an enormously provocative act that warrants a strong, a swift, and a credible response from the global community. North Korea's third nuclear test in defiance of a U.N. resolution drew widespread criticism, including from China, Pyongyang's only major ally. Kerry says China could do more to discourage North Korea's nuclear program. Cato Institute analyst Justin Logan says Washington has given Beijing little incentive to take a harder line against Pyongyang. The, the Chinese know uh, that they are sort of uh, uh, in the catbird seat when it comes to North Korea. But I think there's been not much willingness shown by Washington to do very ambitious things vis-a-vis -vis Korea um, to trade off in other areas. For instance, reducing U.S. military support for South Korea. Logan says China has concerns about what a reunified Korean peninsula would mean for its own security. They look down the road and say, if we produce our policies today, produce in 10 years or in 15 years, a unified Korea with American military troops on our border, that's a problem. While the nuclear test further isolates North Korea, Renmin University professor Shiryin Hong says there are limits to how far China will go to punish Pyongyang. But China is China will not support extremely wide and strict United Nations financial sanctions against North Korea because this will heavily impact Chinese trade. So China will keep on discussing it with the United States, but it will not support all of its demands. Johns Hopkins University professor Ruth Wedgwood says it's wrong to think China has anything to gain by helping with North Korea. I think China's playing its own game here. It's uh, They have never been helpful with us on North Korea. They are again feeling that they uh, have a chance to be quite dominant in the region. North Korean leaders threaten stronger steps if necessary to counter what they say is U.S. hostility toward the communist state. Scott Stearns, VOA News at the State Department.